Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the 28th tutorial with LAMP. Um, today we're going to be discussing sessions. So what is a session? Well, a session is like a cookie in the sense that you can store data about your user, but instead of storing it on the user's computer, you're storing it on the server itself in memory. Now the thing about a session is it's not persistent, meaning when the user logs off your website, the session goes with it. So let's dig right in here. The first thing you should know is we need to start the session. So we'll say session start. And notice where I'm putting this. I'm putting it right above before we do anything, before we write anything to the browser, we want to do session start. And every single page that you want to use a session, you need that. Now the premise of this tutorial is I'm going to write the session information on tutorial28.php and actually read it back on session.php just so you can see that the session will last multiple pages. So let's just dig right in here and we'll say whoops, session. Notice how there is a global variable called session and as you might have guessed it's an array. So we're just going to add an element here and we're just going to add our name And then we're just going to add our age. So what's going on here is we're calling session start. And then we use the global session variable to actually add elements. And I've got a hyperlink here that when we click, we'll just go to the session.php page. I'm going to save this. And when I save it in Komodo IDE, it automatically refreshes the browser. So that did write to the session. Um, notice in session PHP, the page we're going to read it back, we have to use session start. And then we're just going to echo these back out. Ah, having a bad typing day. It's been one of those days, you know. Bad day at the office, glad to be home. And we'll save that. We're going to click there to go to the session. And you see how it says this is page two, because this is our session page. And we're just reading back the age, or I'm sorry, the name. Now, you can unset and check for set. Now, how do you do that? And what am I talking about? Well, let's say you want to check to see if a user's logged in. For example, you have a session variable and we'll call it user ID. But we don't know if it's actually been set or not. So you'll say if is set and the is set function will just return a bool indicating whether or not this has actually been set in memory. If it hasn't, returns false. So we're just going to say Let's see here. I'm just going to say user is logged in. Wow, I must have accidentally hit tab by mistake there. You know, some of you are chuckling at my typing. This virtual machine is actually a little bit slow, so I get some lag. So. What we're going to do here is we're just going to say if is set and then we're checking the the value of user ID in the session. If it is set, we're just going to say this user is logged in. If it's not set, the user is not logged in. Now, how did we get this user ID you're asking? Well, this would be our authentication method. We would just simply set a session variable. So if you were at your main login page and they logged in successfully, you would simply set the session variable. Then when they hit your landing page, you check to see if they are logged in. If not, you spit them back to the login page if they are you do whatever logic you want to do so let's actually refresh this users not logged in see because we've never set the user the user ID 
Now let's actually set it. Let's go back to TUT28 here and let's actually set this. Oops. That was bad typing. Wow. And I'm just going to use the word yes as a user ID. Don't know why, but it sounded good. So we're going to save this. And then when we go back to our session, user is logged in because the user ID is set. Now to unset a variable, like let's say the user logged out, you can actually just do unset. Unset will, uh, well, you guessed it, unset that value so it no longer exists in the session. Now there is another command, um, session destroy. So if you really wanted to just kill the session altogether, you would say session destroy. And that will actually delete everything for that session. This is done automatically when the user closes their last browser to your website. So really there's no need to call session destroy. I've seen some people where they will do session start, set some session variables, and then do session destroy, thinking that you know from a C++ perspective they need to destroy it from memory. No, when you do that you're erasing the entire session. So don't do session destroy unless you absolutely want to log the user out or get rid of all your settings. So That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.